big hats and bold colors kicked off New York Fashion Week. Designer Christian Siriano choosing the former townhouse of actress Elizabeth Taylor in which to present his dramatic styles. This idea of glam, you know, I really, I took like, I took old Hollywood icons. I really went there, you know. Celebrities joined with buyers, adding to the buzz of the semi-annual fashion event after two years of COVID restrictions and smaller crowds. Fashion Week has always been about trendsetters and high-end buyers, but this year there's evidence that shoppers across the country are looking for that one special outfit. With apparel prices up 5% nationwide over last year, shoppers are paying more to refresh their wardrobes. The sale of formal attire in particular has picked up as Americans are once again attending weddings and spending more time in the office. Moving away as consumers from the overindulgence of casual wear, and you're seeing more people go into buying business wear, uh, business casual, and even fancier dresses, uh, shirts that look not like t-shirts, but actually dress shirts. More affordable retail outlets, however, are struggling. Many have slashed prices to clear away stockpiles of pandemic era casual wear, with limited new inventory thanks to supply chain issues and competition from online sales. I try to go online, really, so to yeah. see. In my case, I, I am more into online. Yeah, I don't go to stores too often now. Right now, it's kind of like not as affordable to spend money on clothes. I think right now, bills are kind of the most important thing. At Fashion Week, attending a big event with style makers is all part of the draw. They may not be everyday looks, but these days, that's exactly what consumers are paying for. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera, New York.